जय गिरे वरारे जय गिरे वराधारे जय कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे रामा रामा राम हरे हरे मदन मोहन राधा मदन मोहन राधे जय राधा गोविंद राधा गोविंद राधे जय राधा गोपीनाथ राधा गोपीनाथ राधे जय राधा राधा रमण राधा राधा रमण राधे जय राधा दामोदर राधा दामोदर राधे जय राधा श्याम सुंदर राधा श्याम सुंदर राधे जय कृष्णा बल राम कृष्णा बल राम कृष्णा बल राम जय कृष्णा बल राम जय गौर नेता गौर नेता गौर नेता जय गौर नेता जय जय प्रभु पा प्रभु पा प्रभु पा जय जय प्रभु पा जय जय गुरुदेव गुरु 
ज्ञानांजन शलाखया चक्षुरोन्मीलितान तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापक भूतले स्वयं रूपा कदा ददा स्वान्न पदातिक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीयुता पदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णव श्रीरूपा सगृजात सगनालित शिविशाखपुत साधुत सवधूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदित शिविशाखपुत हे कृष्ण कर्ण सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पतरूभय कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिताम पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमा विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासदी गौरभक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे सो हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड स्पेशली टू प्रशांत माता जी एंड एवरीवन हियर एट वी आई जी फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर टुडेज क्लास व्हिच इज आल्सो माय फर्स्ट क्लास at vih and also first class at vrindavan so please bless me uh, with so that under all your guidance <laughs> so uh today's value class is on the topic dependence on krishna so in life uh it so happens that sometimes the most repeated instruction is the most overlooked yeah so like if we keep on hearing an instruction sometimes again and again two things might happen either the instruction really goes deep into us or we just start taking it for granted yeah so like people since childhood everybody has heard things like you know honesty is the best policy don't tell lies yeah everywhere every kid like you know krishna consciousness not krishna consciousness anywhere you any little bit moral ethics these are things which are told everywhere right but all of us we still tell lies we are not always honest yeah and the most glaring example of this is any time you board an airplane there's always a security safety instructions right the airstress gives please tie your seat belts yeah the uh, the life jacket is sometimes under your seat belt sometimes and next 
but we don't listen. It's a very, very important instruction, but when you are sitting, you heard it so many times. Yeah. Uh, nearest exit door, it may be front, it may be behind. When you're sitting in a plane, we don't listen to all these instructions, right? Because it's being taught, we've heard it so many times. Yeah. But similarly, many times, if like, you know, somebody comes, uh, somebody comes with problem and you say, oh, Prabhuji just surrendered to Krishna. Hey, Prabhuji, that I know, you know, tell me something else. Right? Because, I mean, we've heard this so much, so many times. Uh, I mean, when we came first time to ISKCON, yeah, so that maybe on the, somewhere on the roadside, some devotee gave the book or something like that, right? So, so we were not even, like in ISKCON, we were living a normal karmi lifestyle. And first time we came in touch with ISKCON, even at that time, the devotee would have said, oh, after like little, if you, you know, devotee did some very quick, rapid fire preaching to you, and then he would have said, oh, surrender to Krishna. Like, you know, everything is just depend on Krishna. And like, once we come, we start like coming to ISKCON, and somebody tells us, okay, you know, Bhagavad Gita, and this and that. That's the first verse anybody, like, you know, everywhere who's either distributing Gita or something will say, oh, Sardharam Parityagne, like, you know, oh, surrender into Krishna, surrender. So we hear it, like, you know, sometimes so many times you just take it, like, you know, dependence on Krishna, surrender. Of course, this movement is only international strategy for Krishna consciousness. No? So everything is around Krishna. But human nature, we take it for, you know, granted when, you know, if it is being uh, said. And even, you know, when Lord Krishna himself, he gives the instruction in Bhagavad Gita, right? So, Again in ISKCON, 18.66, Sarvadharma Parityagana, 18.65, whatever, you know, Man Mana Bhav Mad Bhakta, like, you know, it's coming. But even the Lord, when he is building up, because he's saying, I just depend on me, surrender unto me, 18.66. And because he's taught all the Bhagavad Gita, and now everything he's taught, and then he says, okay, shh, all that is like, you know, footnote, side story, but <laughs> this is it. So even when Krishna is giving this message, that 65 and 66, which, you know, 18.65 and 66, which, like, you know, in ISKCON, we take it as, you know, this is the thing. Many times what we forget or overlook is what Krishna said in 18.64. <coughs> the verse 18.64, just before he's telling us Manmana Bhavmat Bhakta and Sarvadharam Parityagne. So at, in 18.64, Krishna says, Sarvago yatamam bhuya, shruno me paramam vacha, ishto si medradam miti, tato vaksha mite hitam. So Krishna says, Sarvago yatamam bhuya, shruno me paramam vacha. So param vacha means this is my ultimate. So whatever I have been telling in Gita also, now this is I am telling the ultimate. Shruno me. Paramam Bacha, Sarva Ghoiya Tamam Bhuya, the most, most confidential, I am telling you. And why I am telling you? Because Ishto Si Me Dridamiti, you are very dear to me. And Tato Vakshami Te Hitam, this is in your interest, your benefit. So, in English we say, there is no interest like self-interest, right? <laughs> <laughs> your spiritual life, material life, yeah, anybody says like, you know, if, you, if you're doing some business with somebody also, the person asks you the question, Acha Prabhuji, all that is fine, what is there in it for me? Yeah, what is my interest? Why should I collaborate with you? Anything, you know, business, any, any, anywhere else in life, or wherever, you know, spirit. People say, why? What is in my interest? So Krishna says, this is in Vakshyami Te Hitam, it is in your interest. Yeah. So the Lord explains, you know, it is in your interest. And Krishna tells, because even when you are saying, right, depend on me, don't worry. Like Sarva Dharam Parityagana, that is good. Surrender unto me, depend. But more important is Krishna says, Ma Sucha, don't worry. Yeah. So, I mean, many times, when if, especially when you are asking, like, you know, I am there, don't worry. But you have to, you have to re reinforce. And I learned it in a different context, the hard way. So when I was teaching my daughter swimming, so it's like, you know, my daughter's youngest daughter, she's just slightly more than four years. I was telling, okay, just jump in the water, don't worry, dad will catch you, like, you know, so you jump. My daughter was very reluctant to jump. But dad's there, you know, of course I want to let her drown, yeah, just jump, but no. So I have to tell her, don't worry, definitely dad will catch you, there's nothing to worry, daddy is there. And after I've told her, don't worry, don't worry, many times, 
and then she plunged, right? So Krishna also telling us, he says, you know, don't worry. Yeah. And then when he's telling us also, like man mana bhavmat bhakta, madhyaji, okay, you know, worship me, pray to me, surrender to everything, whatever Krishna is telling us, so many inst instructions. Yeah. Uh, he says, why he, he's saying not because I am so great. Of course, Krishna is great, but he says, Pratijani priyo simi, because you are very dear to me. Okay. So <clears throat> Krishna uses many, many you know, reassurances, because, I mean, we are always thinking, man, gosh, I mean, Krishna is a big guy. He is busy. There's so many people, like, you know, you go to Krishna Balram temple, like, you know, it's always houseful. So many people have so many issues. I mean, does he really know, like, you know, all my life's problems, you know, that's this, that very specific problem, which is very important to me, but to him, it may be a something small. And so is, is, is the Lord really, like, you know, I mean, like... <laughs> So, so Krishna in, again, Bhagavad Gita, <coughs> verse 18.58, uh, gives us this reassurance, where the Lord says, Mat chitta sarva durgaani, mat prasadat taryasi, ata chetam mahankaram nashoshasya vrnakshasi. So chit, Krishna says, Mat chitta sarva durgaani, uh, sarva durgaani means all your Problems, obstacles. Durgani means problems, obstacles. So, Machitta Sarva Durgani Mat Prasadata Tariyasi. By my grace, you will get over. But Krishna uses the word Sarva Durgani. It is not, all right, you know, I'm, I'm there for you. I'll take care of some stuff of yours, but other stuff you have to take care of it yourself, right? So, I'm like, I mean, like, um, Krishna says, Sarva Durgani. So, Machit Sarva Durgani, Mat Prasad Atatariyasi. And if you don't listen to me, then, Atta Chetto Mahankaram, Nashoshasya Vinakshasi. You will be lost in life. Okay? So, for us to have our right bearings, you know, uh, in our life, it is this dependence on Krishna. And we depend on Krishna, then Krishna says, such a nice, this such a lovely, nice verse, you know, there's someone, you know. To take care of, like you know, this is this is in this Bollywood movie called Lena like, Me Huna. So I am there. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, I'll 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 take care. So now the <clears throat> next logical step comes. Yeah, the proof of the pudding is in eating it. Something. So we all are devotees. It's gone now. Like you know, what Bhakti Shastri. Some of us, you know, Bhakti Vaibhav and you know, so many things. So we are like now. We are pretty hardcore ISKCON people, right? We are not, like, like we've been doing this now for, for many, many years. So the, you know, this reminds me of a very nice incident that Prashanta Mataji narrated in one of our Bhakti Vaipav classes. And this was like, you know, when Prashanta Mataji was a very, very, you know, she, she recently joined ISKCON. She was a very, you know, a, a very young devotee at that time. And somebody was giving a class talking about Shraddha to Prema. And Mataji remember. <laughs> so Mataji naturally was in the audience listening. So it's logical, she thought very logically, oh, where am I? Like, you know, Shraddha to Prema. Like, you know, I'm like, this whole this <laughs> matrix is being talked. Like, you know, where am I? Like, you know, you know, which, <laughs> where am I? You know, I mean, I'm at Nishtha, I'm at Ruchi, or where am I? Like, kind of a stuff, right? So, well, Mataji thought, you know, so it was a very funny incident that Mataji uh, narrated. Uh, so, similarly, like, we should also think, like, you know, we've been in this ISKCON Krishna consciousness movement. All of us know Sarvadharma by heart, you know, and like, so many classes we attend, every second, third class, this verse comes. Somebody or the other, somewhere left, right, quotes it. You know, class is about anything, but this verse comes. Yeah, every, it's like total, like, you know, it's like like feedstock verse. <laughs> every time, <laughs> any class, you can use this verse. Yeah? So, we would also want to know, keep us, what is my level? I'm also interested, like Mataji was interested, Shraddha to Prema, where is she? So, I'm also interested, and I'm sure you would also be interested. Like, what is your level? Yeah? Like... Surrender to Krishna, like, you know, what, it would have been easy in life if Krishna consciousness was also like judo. So when you go and learn judo, they first give you a white belt. Okay, then after you are a little bit, you can, you can kick here and there, then they'll give you yellow belt, you know, then whatever, green belt, brown belt, and finally you'll be black belt. Yeah? 
So if this Krishna consciousness, depending on Krishna, surrendering in, onto Krishna and all that stuff, if we had, you know, such a mechanism, it would be easy. Yeah. So how do we gauge? Let's say if I were to do a self-diagnostic, you know, self-appraisal. Like these days in companies, it is very common. Eh? First do your self-appraisal. So if we had to do our own self-appraisal, <coughs> give ourselves points, where level I am in, you know, how I am uh, in my dependence on Krishna, in my surrendering uh, unto Krishna, you know, where what, what would be the parameter. So, Prabhupada tells us that the symptoms of material disease is or are shoka, moha and bhaya. Okay, so the people who are generally out there, like you know, who are not enough fortunate to be uh, as devotees and you know, forming a normal karmi life, always disturbed by these three, shoka, moha and bhaya. So shoka, lamentation for the past, whatever happened, you know. Didn't get that money, didn't get that honey, whatever people are <laughs> lamenting about life. You know, shoka. Moha is about my present. Like, you know, hey, come on, this, I like my this, my car, my this, my house, my this. You know, that's a moha. Shoka, moha. And bhaya is for the future. You know, okay, again, like Bollywood again, kal kya hoga, kisko pata, right? What will happen tomorrow? Yeah, so mo shoka, moha, and bhaya. But, if you are surrendered to Krishna and you depend on Krishna, then what you should be in, you should have Shanti, peace. Okay? So, a way for us to do a self-appraisal is, am I a person who is relatively peaceful, Shant, or I am like, you know, like, you know, Tensed, stressed, yeah, or like you know, like I'm, I'm like very like you know, on the boil, on the edge, yeah. I mean, it's like this, like you know, if I suppose told you, hey, you know, this is the guy, he's like a hundred meter sprinter, he can do hundred meters in under ten seconds, like you know, this is an athlete, he's like an Olympic level athlete. But when you see this guy, he's like you know. It's got nice pot belly and like you know stuff like that. I say, come on, how can this guy be an <laughs> Olympic athlete, right? When we, if you Olympic athlete, what like even a you know a school level or a district level athlete is also like you know athlete. We say athletic. This person is athletic. Yeah? So when you see an athlete, you can see okay, fine. This guy has got an athletic body, so you know okay, he's athlete. No, you can't be you know this guy is running hundred meter in the Olympics under ten seconds, and then you say, oh man, this guy is like yeah. So similarly for a devotee. You cannot say, oh, I depend on Krishna, but oh man, this guy is always stressed up, he's always, you know, <laughs> tight, never at peace. So, for us, the best self-diagnostic test is to ask how peaceful we are. And it is, uh, like, you could do it like that compared to four years ago, Today, am I more peaceful or two years ago? Because, you know, I've been doing Krishna consciousness for so many days, so many years and stuff like that. So if my peace level is increasing, if the graph is ascending, then maybe my dependence on Krishna is increasing or improving. And again, Krishna says this in 18.62. And Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 18.62, the Lord says, Tomeva Sharanam Gacha, Sarva Bhave Nabharataha, Tat Prasadat Param Shantim, Stanam Prapyasi Shashwatam. So, Tomeva Sharanam Gacha, Sarva Bhave Nabharataha. So, Sarva Bhave means if you completely surrender unto me, you completely depend on me, okay? So, Tomeva Sharanam Gacha, Sarva Bhave Nabharataha. And Prabhupada many times always uses this line, Sarva Bhave Nabharataha, Sarva Bhave Nabharataha. You know, this. Like completely, not like, okay, Krishna, 70-80% I can surrender to you, 30% is something else for myself, you know. So if you, if you are like completely surrendered, then what Krishna says, tat prasadat param shantim. Okay? So shanti, and not just normal shanti, param shanti. You know, you really get the <coughs> highest level of peace. So a good self-diagnostic tool for all of us is to... Look at our level of 
shanti, how shant we are. If we are ashant, something's wrong. You know, so that's a, like a self-introspection for us. Oh, we are getting ashant because I don't depend on Krishna. I think maybe Krishna is busy in other things. He won't come to my, <laughs> you know, much chitta sarva durgani. My durgani is he won't come. <laughs> you know, when, when, when life is bad for me, he won't show up. Like, you know, I have some problem. It could be any problem. You know, it could be normal problem about money, problem about anything, or any other life. Any other, there's so many life problems, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, padam padam vipadam nitesham. So the material world, <laughs> every step is a problem. Yeah. But if we are really, like, uh, dependent on on, on Krishna, then we will be peaceful. So now, so far in today's class, we have learned one is, is the most basic instruction in his contact. The first instruction is this. Huh? Then we have looked at self-diagnosis. The question is, if this is the first instruction in his con, every lecture of his con, every second lecture of his con, every Prabhuji, Mataji is quoting this only, huh? then why is it so tough to do? Yeah, but this is the most, it's not that at ISKCON they'll tell you very late. Yeah, after you finished Bhakti Vaidanta, Bhakti Sarvabhoma or something like that, then they will tell you, oh, now I have to tell you the most secret sauce, eh? the most secret ingredient of all these things. This is told in the, like even before you, you know, come to VIH or anywhere, first instant of ISKCON, we already know it. So the question comes is, why is this so tough? Why is this depending on Krishna so tough? Because if we are depending on Krishna, then we are very shant, but we know we are not shant fully. <laughs> like, it's not like, you know, he says param shanti. Are we living in param shanti or very, very peace? Yeah, maybe we are getting there. Something is improving, <laughs> kind of a stuff. But, you know, we are, so, so why is it so tough? Yeah. So Krishna being Krishna, he's like, he's like, like Dyutam Chalyate Masmi, like you know, Krishna is not our straightforward, you know, straightforward kind of a god. He also gives, you know, a bit of a spin and a googly. So he says, in one way, it makes it very easy. Ah, Saradharam Parityagne Mamekam Sharanam, you know. But uh, Sanatan Goswami explains us, uh, in, he, he te tells us about the six stages or six steps of surrender. And which is Anukulena Sankalpaha Pratikolasya Varjanam Rakshashati Vishwasa Gopatrita Varanam Tata Atmanikshe Pakar Parnya Shadvida Sharanangati. So, first is Anukulena Sankalpaha Pratikolasya Varjanam. Do the do's and don't do the don'ts. Yeah, kind of a stuff. Pretty simple. And this instruction is at what level? Kanishta Adhikari level, so you know. So it's the Kanishta Adhikari level. And then the next level is where we start, you know, say dependence on Krishna. It is Rakshashati Vishwasa Gopatit Varanam Tata. Rakshashati Vishwasa means Krishna will protect no matter your situation. Rakshashati Vishwasa is like the Machit Sarva Durgani, like, you know, everything you will get over. So, my Rakshishti Vishwasa. And Gopatita Varanam Tatha, Lord is the nourisher. But, this level of surrender is at what stage? This is the Madhya Madhikari surrender. Okay. So, that is why, while the first instruction, they tell you at ISKCON, is like, you know, surrender into Krishna. But when we are, we are starting off at ISKCON, we are like, like Kanishta Dikari or even not even at Kanishta Dikari stage, right? That is when we are getting this, this kind of an instruction. But this surrender happens only at the, this level of surrender happens only at the Madhya Madhikari level, okay? And again, since today we are talking a lot about self-appraisal, performance appraisal, yeah? So for all of us, Prabhupada also set some appraisal standards. It's Prabhupada's organization, right? It's gone. So he has certain quality standards, yeah, like any company you work, right, Prabhuji, you're working in some good, like, machine and all kind of a company, they would have set some standards. All employees should meet this standard, right? So what is Prabhupada's expectation from all of us? So all of us whose name especially ends in some Das or Dasi, which means we are initiated, <laughs> yeah? So Prabhupada expected all of us to reach the Madhya Madhikari level, okay? So it is, like, 
the fact that we have taken, we are initiated, and we are following Prabhupada's movement, uh, there is certain expectations that Prabhupada has of us. Okay, so well, well we are, you know, we have to reach the, at some point <laughs> in our life, <laughs> we have to reach the Madhya Madhikari level, right? So Prabhupada didn't say, oh, you have to become Uttam Adhikari, you know, kind of stuff. That's like, you know. One in a million or one in some, one may reach whatever that kind of a stage. But Madhya Madhikari is a stage that Prabhupada's expectation is for all of us to reach. Okay, So at least Rakshishati Vishwasa Gropatit Varanam Tatha. You know, that is something that we have to reach. Of course, and those who are so fortunate who can also reach Atmanivedam. So basically, it's Atmanivedam, everything <laughs> to uh, Krishna and Karpanya, like feeling incapable of doing anything. Uh, only Lord does, like, you know, I'm incapable of do any, doing anything myself to develop such humility. Uh, but at least the middle layer all of us have to reach, which is Rakshishati Vishwasa, to have this faith and conviction that no matter what the problem in my life is, Rakshishati Vishwasa, Krishna will protect. And go patit varanam tatha, that the Lord is my nourisher. And, 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 and somehow I really like, you know, when we say this, this verse, and especially when you sometimes you face problems in life, which you <laughs> face, this line like, you know, Rakshishati Vishwasa, go patit varanam tatha, this, you know, gives that uh, kind of that strength, that courage, that, you know, okay, fine, no problem. My problem may be very big, but Krishna is bigger than my problem. <laughs> yeah, kind of a stuff. So it's <clears throat> and then, as we were talking, like, you know, why it is not so easy? Well, we very simplistically say, yeah, surrender into Krishna. You know, first, as we have learned, it's at a Madhya Madhikari level. And in Bhagavad Gita, uh, chapter 15, verse number 5, 15.5. And Prabhupada explains the purport that this is the surrendering process, the verse 15.5. So the verse 15.5 of Bhagavad Gita is Nirmana moha jita sanga dosha adhyatma nitya vinivrita kama dvandarva mukta sukhadokha samje gachanti mudha pada avyayam to. So only the last line is pada avyayam to, which is like surrender. But to surrender, there is a long laundry list <laughs> in this verse. It starts with nirmana moha. So first is nirmana. Yeah, and today's when we were doing uh, the, the Mangalarti and after that Chikshashtakam and like, you know, Prasanta Mataji told us a lot about humility. So first step is humility, nirmana, a moha. And then moha, okay, not having this excessive attachment or illusion. Nirmana moha or jita sanga dosha, free from false association. Nirmana moha jita sanga dosha, adhyatma nitya, always engaged in the spiritual. Adhyatma nitya, vinivritta kama, free of Lust sense gratification. <laughs> so it's a pretty high standard. Nirmana moha sangha dosha adhyatma nitya vrimitya kama. Dvandair vimukta sukha dukkha sanjair means free from duality of life. Sukha dukkha. Oh. Dvandair vimukta sukha dukkha. Kachanti mudha pad avyata. A mudha means unbewildered. And then you can surrender. <laughs> so it's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long, 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 you know, you have to develop so many other things before you can say, oh, I surrender to you, Krishna, I depend on you, Krishna, like, so, unlike what that Iskon Wala who first gave me that book, <laughs> he never told me this, right? It's like a good sales guy who just tells you, buy, later on, they will tell you all the intricacies about the product, right? <laughs> he says, surrender into Krishna, you know, he doesn't say, oh, you have to do all these things, then you can surrender into Krishna, okay? So, so we've now covered up till this side. Now, this thing about dependence on Krishna, okay, nice thing, but it's a very controversial topic, especially if we talk, of course, here we have very, like, you know, nice devotees, VIHE, we are sitting there. But, try telling it to our Sunday feast 
devotees <laughs> you know who come for our congregation like various temples where we are uh, you know we may be preaching or to other karmis right what dependence on krishna yeah i mean you people you are like you know fatalists i mean you know you like come on yeah i mean in hindi they say apna hath jagannath yeah so your hand is lord jagannath come on man i'm the i'm like highly competent in english they say your future is in your own hands yeah so this is what like you know very fatalistic kind of this that come on man like you know make things happen i mean uh, in yesterday's class we were having in this dashmula tatva a kamal lochan uh, prabhu was giving so he was telling that before before bhakti vinod thakur uh, you know did this whole revival vaishnava movement and you know there was a lot of <coughs> there were so many other sampradayas which were not really following vaishnavism properly so if there was like some kid in some house like you know this kid is useless like you know he doesn't study properly or you know parents are telling come on study and this kid is like you know pretty useless guy they say you are so useless you go and become a vaishnava yeah so that's what they used to say in bengal when you know before the revival like you know bhakti vedanta thakur said oh you just go on the street man sing and beg kind of a stuff yeah so many people have this kind of a view also like you know that's a very extreme statement that was prevalent in 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 bengal at some point but uh, i mean uh, many many people they oh you guys you're so fatalistic yeah kind of a stuff i mean come on man we are like the like apna hath jagannath your future is in your hand and in modern day management you know so if you no, normal anyway in the ma- modern day management when they are recruiting people one of the parameters that many hr departments follow is does this person have an internal locus of control or external locus of control so this is the modern day management so internal locus of control means people who think yeah this is their i have conviction i will do this thing i'll make it happen yeah so they are the people who can shape the environment people like external locus of control is what could i do that guy didn't do this person because i depended on that person that couldn't do they hence i could not do yeah so companies when they want to hire people they want to hire people with internal locus of control so people who go on to become ceos of company or top management or you know you give them good management responsibility you are looking for people with internal locus of control right yo man i can do it i'll deliver you know that kind of a mindset so high competence you know i can do so this is depending on krishna thing becomes a bit controversial you know because not for us devotees but telling it to the other people so when we talking of competence let us take some example or benchmark from history and that is about pandavas and draupadi okay uh so i mean many women have very high standards okay luckily you are a brahmachari you have not gone through that process but people like us have gone through you know we are grasthas so like while selecting a you know a husband or something any women have good standards you know that oh my husband should be like this like this you know he has to be smart he has to do but draupadi had like super high standards it was not just even <laughs> your your normal standards so draupadi wanted almost like the perfect guy yeah uh, so that's what she she prayed in her previous life uh, before uh, as, as draupadi you know that she wanted husband who's like you know perfect in knowledge you know great most virtuous and kind of a stuff so if you take pandavas all five combined individually itself they are highly virtuous they are highly like you know top notch people but if you combine all the five pandavas together i mean you pretty much as a portfolio you have made the perfect man <laughs> you can't so whatever like you know i mean any one of us may be feeling oh i am very smart yeah we, we may have somebody may have great education studied from very nice place very nice university very nice college but pandavas has beaten you 
in that also. Eh? Somebody may say, I am very strong, but Bhim is so much more stronger than me. Somebody may think, oh, I am very great administrator, very ethical guy, like, you know, that kind of a person. I'm strong on my principles. Somebody is very proud of that fact. And I'm a very principled guy, you know. Like, you, you, you encounter these people in life. I'm a very principled guy, like, you know, so you have to deal with me only like that. High on corporate governance or something like that. I'm a very principled. Maharaja Yudhishthar is way ahead than you. Na? You may say, I'm very skillful at my work. Uh, yeah, Arjun was like, you know, the best. Like everything he knows, like, you know, what to shoot, what to do, kind of a stuff. Bhagavad Gita is full of like talking. Arjuna is like what, you know, Savya Sachi, Parantapa, Dhananjaya, Gudakesh. So Arjun itself, like forget about all the other Pandavas. Arjun itself is your uh, Elon Musk, Sam Manekshaw, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, all into one. Yeah, that is what Arjun is, yeah? So they are highly, highly competent people. So Pandavas are not your average Joe by any stretch of imagination. And if you take them all five together, so no matter whatever we think about our uh, competence or, or, or anything, but the Pandavas are fully dependent on, on Krishna. And Srila Prabhupada in... Uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, uh, chapter 8, verse number 13, he writes a very, very beautiful purport. And somehow it's like my, amongst my favorite purports, like, you know, in all of uh, Bhagavatam. So uh, if I speak, I may not be able to do justice to Srila Prabhupada's purport. So this, some of the parts of the purport, I'll read it verbatim. So here's what Srila Prabhupada writes. Srila Prabhupada says, the Pandavas are most fortunate because with all good luck, they were entirely dependent on the mercy of the Lord. In the material world, to be dependent on the mercy of someone else is the utmost sign of misfortune. But in the case of a transcendental relationship with the Lord, it is the most fortunate case when we can live completely dependent on him. Further, Prabhupada writes, the highest achievement of perfect civilization is to work with valor, but at the same time, depend completely on the Lord. The Pandavas are the ideal executor of this standard of civilization. Undoubtedly, they were completely dependent on the goodwill of Krishna. But they were not idle parasites of the Lord. They were all highly qualified, both by personal character and by physical activities. Still, they always looked for the mercy of the Lord because they knew that every living being is dependent by constitutional position. The perfection of life is therefore to become dependent on the will of the Lord instead of becoming falsely independent in the material world. Those who try to become falsely independent of the Lord are called anath or without guardian. Whereas those who are completely dependent on the will of the Lord are called sanath or those having someone to protect them. Therefore, we should try to be sanat so that we can always be protected from the unfavorable conditions of material existence. Yeah? So Prabhupada talks about anath and sanat. So all the people we meet, karmi, this, that, who say, oh, I'm so competent, you know, I'm such a cool dude, and you know, I can solve all the problems. Yeah? Independently, I think independently, are anath, orphans, right? So if, 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 a, if a kid, someone says, you know, he doesn't have a parent, one can say, oh, this kid has got so much freedom. We don't say that, right? When you see a kid, if a kid does not have a parent, we don't say, oh, this kid, your life is so good, man, so cool. You don't have to ask when to go home, when to go out, like, you know, no, nobody to, like, you know, stop you. No, we say, it's misfortunate. You're such a misfortune. Poor guy, poor child, don't have parents. Yeah? So, Srila Prabhupada says, for all of us, uh, that be sanath and don't be anath. And the Pandavas 
they set the best example okay and there is no shortage of competence in the pandavas they are they work hard they are doing their stuff but dependent on the mercy of the lord <clears throat> and we can see the same thing in the life of shila prabhupad yeah so i mean for a minute you know because when we look at shila prabhupad we immediately think you know very transcendental personality and you know we, we get into this whole krishna consciousness mode for a minute just forget krishna consciousness you know, just look at it from a normal material perspective you know so cnn had this uh, uh, article they they ranked like you know say 20 people who achieved great things much late in life you know late bloomers in life or whatever you would say right uh, like people who after 50 or something like that achieved something big yeah uh, like like they started their businesses quite late in life and also henry ford is one of them who makes that list because he started ford motor company at a very late age you know these days people say oh you entrepreneurs this it's a young man's world it's a young person's world like you know you got to do it young but and in in that list of 20 shila prabhupad is there you know you can google it out on cnn and he is also the guy who did it oldest <laughs> so you know from a, not just has he achieved such whatever he achieved but he is who started oldest on that list yeah so i mean so if you just see from shila prabhupad standard like you know i mean going around the world like you know he he left no stones unturned you know he he was really like you know, if we just look at it from a normal material perspective like you know he's he's super cool in meeting all his marketing targets you know <laughs> he's, he's he's a great marketer he's going everywhere setting up a supply chain or whatever you call like you know he he is doing all these job but he is completely dependent on the mercy of krishna okay it's from the mercy of krishna and that empowerment comes and shila prabhupad is uh, able to do so finally <coughs> since uh, you know we are here in vrindavan this class is happening uh, from here there from the first time so the mood in vrindavan and the mood of vrija is not the mood of intellectualization or you know this verse from that that shastra and that verse from that shastra yes even though we are at vihe you know that's what we are in uh, an educational institution but the mood of vrija is of sweetness so there are two kind of prayers that people in vrija say and which have also become quite popular uh, around in india so one thing that vrija people say is deena bandhu deena nat meri dori tere haath so it's oh my the lord lord of the impoverished yeah deena bandhu deena nat the thread of my life is in your hand and another very famous you know a song out of vrija and now it's become very popular in in india and you know youtube whatsapp all forward you get this song so you would have heard which is tum saath ho jo mere kis cheez ki kami hai kisi aur cheez ki ab darkar hi nahi hai mera aap ki kripa se सब काम हो रहा है करते हो तुम कन्हैया मेरा नाम हो रहा है सो दीन बंधु दीना नाथ मेरी डोरी तेरे हाथ इज लाइक द्रौपदी सरेंडर या सो वेन द्रौपदी शी वॉज इन अ सिचुएशन ऑफ हेल्पलेसनेस शी कुड डू नथिंग या वॉट एवर शी ट्राइड वॉट एवर वॉज देर शी इज हेल्पलेस दर इज नथिंग शी कैन डू सो दीन बंधु दीना नाथ मेरी डोरी तेरे हाथ राइट एंड एंड कृष्णा इंटरवींस बोथ ड्यूरिंग यू नो दीर हरण एपिसोड इन महाभारत एज वेल एज वेन द अक्षय पात्र यू नो दुर्वासा मुनि कम नथिंग मोर शी कैन डू इन दर इज वॉट टू डू नो सोल्यूशन सो वी ऑल्सो फेस इन लाइफ समटाइम्स मैन वॉट टू डू लाइक नथिंग यू कैन डू कैंड ऑफ फर्स्ट आप क्या so din bandhu dina nat meri dori tere haath and the second song or the bhajan we sang that is like arjuna surrender yeah so 
कृष्णा सेज भगवत गीता एवरीथिंग आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ भगवत गीता वर्ल्ड इज अर्जुना से ओ कृष्णा थैंक यू जस्ट एवरीथिंग ऑन योर हैंड आई एम गोइंग इन द फॉरेस्ट नो 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 ही पिक्स अप ही पिक्स अप एज गांडी सो अर्जुन ही सरेंडर्स इन डेलिजेंस या कृष्णा सेज निमित्त मात्र भव्य सभ्य साची सो विच इज टू वेरी कॉन्ट्ररी थिंग्स वेन समी सेज यू आर निमित्त मात्र निमित्त मात्र मीन्स In consequential footnote, man. <laughs> I mean, like the main story, and also the savya sachi. Savya sachi means ambidextrous, highly skillful. Yeah. So Arjuna surrender is a surrender in diligence. And as the song says, "Tum saath ho jo mere kis cheez ki kami hai." So before battle of Kurukshetra, we know the famous story. Duryodhan came, <laughs> Arjun came. Yeah. And Arjun chooses Krishna. तुम साथ हो जो मेरे किस चीज की कमी है है ना किसी और चीज की अब दरकार ही नहीं है आई डोंट नीड एनी अदर थिंग दुर्योधन नीड्स अदर थिंग कृष्णा जारमी क्या बट अर्जुन नीड्स ओनली ओनली कृष्णा या और द वेरी स्वीट द मेन थिंग मेरा आपकी कृपा से सब काम हो रहा है बाय योर ग्रेस माई डे लॉर्ड Everything is happening. करते हो तुम कन्हैया हो कृष्णा यू डू बट मेरा नाम हो रहा है इवन टूडे अर्जुना गेट सो मच क्रेडिट फाइव मोर देन फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो मोर देन फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स है पास्ट अर्जुना इज ग्लोरी एंड फेम उसका नाम आज भी हो रहा है अर्जुना इज नेम सो इन इंडिया इफ यू आर द मोस्ट कूलेस्ट एथलीट और यू नो यू आर यू आर अ ग्रेट स्पोर्ट्स मैन इन योर इन योर डिसिप्लिन यू आर अ हीरो इन योर स्पोर्ट्स यू डू यू गेट दी Arjuna awards the main battle tank of the indian army is called the arjuna tank okay so even so many years later karte ho tum kanaiya aur mera naam ho raha hai so arjun's name is is there it's happening and but he depends on krishna and then so shila prabhupad says one very nice thing because why are we afraid to fully depend on krishna why are we you not know, to surrender so are if you give everything then boss what is left for me right <laughs> we are always afraid and then we 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 read that verse also of bhagavatam right those i especially favor i right? take away everything so then it is all the more oh my goodness i like you krishna but you are good from far <laughs> you know like like it's okay maintain certain distance <laughs> you know <laughs> but shila prabhupad says if we offer everything to krishna you are never at loss okay you look at shila prabhupad's life also you know, yeah offered everything to krishna we only read oh shila prabhupad having so many problem in his business this that but see what he was able to achieve you know it's international society for krishna consciousness like he had anybody who has in normal material world you know you have 108 houses all over the world 108 temples yeah? prabhupad i mean lord blessed him with everything even with opulence you know and was and same thing we find in the life of so many others pralad maharaj who was the person who is like trying to get all the stuff for himself it's hiranyakashyap end of the story who becomes apart from like you know, all the nashing of that happens all whatever hiranyakashyap has accumulated who gets it <laughs> pralad maharaj <laughs> so even materially <laughs> pralad maharaj uh, you know it doesn't suffer well, mahabharat war who is the one who is not hankering for the kingdom very much at peace yudhishthir who becomes the emperor who becomes the king yudhishthir so when we surrender to krishna so you know sarva bhavena bharat completely we surrender to krishna and depend on krishna's mercy you are never the loser okay so hari krishna with that i went to the class Is any questions anything hari bol Thank you. Hari bol. Thank you. And so much variety of uh, past times characters and lot of good good quotation. Thank you. So the question is uh, it's like uh, sending to Krishna yes is there. Now Krishna is not here in the story. 
Very good question, you know, kind of stuff. And uh, so, one thing which comes to my mind, and you know, since the right place, we are at VIH, eh? and one of the Canto one memorization verse, you know, so if I, if I recite, then Prashanta Mataji will know, okay, he knows his verses, some of the things. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, <clears throat> like when, as we were discussing, you know, Shraddha to Prem, so the, the first, the very first thing, which is uh, the verse, which is like, you know, uh, comes is, Shushusho Shraddhaya Nasya Vasudeva Katharuchi Svanmahat Sevaya Vipra Punyatirtha Nishevana. So, I mean, anything that just like because our, you know, dependence, you said, you know, Krishna is both near and very far, <laughs> you know, kind of a stuff. Uh, and everything we get is by the, uh, like, you know, grace of our devotees. So I think what, uh, like, I'll try to be less, like, very shastric about it, more, like, normal, practical about it, <laughs> you know, because I mean, VIH and they are, like, you know, people who know a lot more shastras. Uh, I think whatever, whatever skill or whatever thing we have, you know, which has come to us by Krishna, you know, any, any good qualities, any good trait, you know, so because Humility doesn't mean like, you know, like, like, oh, I'm so humble, I can't do anything. I'm not, you know, it, it's like nothing is, everything depends on Krishna. You know, I, it's not me, it's, you know, it, it, that is what humility is. So any, any, any good traits, all of us have some traits or something like that, you know, some specific things. And I think we should utilize that, whatever has been given, whatever those gifts have been given to us to serve. Our, you know, other devotees and to serve our, our guru. So the point is, we are often holding back. You know, it's like, it's like we are in one way being misers. Like, you know, Krishna has given us so many things, like, you know, he gave, it could be anything. It could be, uh, to some Krishna has given material opulence. Okay, so if he has given material opulence, then you, are, you should share your material opulence. You should, you should, because then you may know that money means too much to you. You know, then, then you, sh you, sh you should... Or if any other trait, you're a great cook, then you should try to cook nicely for your guru, for your, you know. So whatever we have, like, you know, we should not try to hold it. And uh, we should not wait to be told we should volunteer. I'm going to do it, kind of a stuff, you know. So, so it's, it's, it's that, I think, like, sorry, not a very Shastrik answer, but a simple, commonsensical kind of an answer. So, you know, everything comes from Krishna, so you utilize everything in his service, that's all I would say. Hari Guru Maharaj. Yes, Prabhupada. My uh, question is that um, in the very beginning of the class, you were mentioning about the, uh, the, the, the symptom of surrender is freedom from uh, baya, moha, and shoka, or the normalization, anxiety, and mm -hmm. fear for future. And, uh, and then, uh, so basically, that it's a peace, you said peace. Mm -hmm. Um, so, 
uh, my question is, I started with a new example. I think when I was in London, uh, the devotees wanted to renovate the whole temple. Mm. Uh, marble and altar, and big job, full building, and it was very old and like this. So there was one very rich uh, businessman, uh, Mr. Agrawal, mm. and he sponsored the whole thing. But because altar was also uh, have to be repaired, so, you know, so the things were squashed in some other place. And mm. Kitchen was in, almost in a corridor, mm. and but devotees continued to hold six offerings and then Varati and all things. So then Mr. Agrawal was looking at it and he said, Oh, the devotees are so passionate. Mm. They are constructing this. <coughs> they could have just stopped all these mm. Uh, mm. services and it would be more yeah. peaceful. Mm. Now with all the construction, all the service also going on. So he was kind of a devotee, but maybe not this one. So, he, so then my question is so then. It seemed like devotees had unnecessary stress, unnecessary anxiety, how to manage all the services in certain circumstances. Uh, so they seemed they were not peaceful because uh, actually the supposed temple be uh, renovated, which is also for Krishna. Mm. So how to put these two together? But you mentioned that the Arjuna surrendered with a bow in, the, in hand. And mm. then at the same time, you mentioned that all devotees have to be peaceful. So how to balance, not balance, but how to put these two together, how to understand it properly. Because someone may say, okay, I tried one time, didn't work, was Krishna's will. Yeah? So you understand the point, what I mean. How to put this peace and that at the same time anxiety and stress and service mm -hmm. together. Yeah. So... Like in, like in India, many, many uh, in, in a, not necessarily in, in, within just ISKCON, but outside, you know. <laughs> people quote some verses from R Ramayana, and then there is this very nice, and they say, they say, Hari Ananta, Hari Katha Ananta. Okay, so the Lord is Ananta. <laughs> There's no ending. <laughs> and Hari Katha Ananta. So, you know, if you are serving the Lord by saying his Katha, there is no end. <laughs> it keeps going on and on and on and on, kind of a stuff. So similarly, our service <laughs> to the Lord, because there is no, there is no full stop. So in the way, like whatever the devotees are thinking, more and more, like already, if you look at it, like you know, Iskon, we've achieved quite a lot. <laughs> I mean, if you, if we were to just put it down, like you know, we've already achieved quite a lot. But we want to go on and on and on, kind of a stuff. So. What Prabhupada writes in some of his, his purports is the, for his own sake, the devotee is very peaceful, needs nothing, kind of first stuff. Whatever is there, like, no, yadricho labha santushto, dandvatita vimatsara, like, whatever comes of its own accord, the devotee is like, you know, uh, not endeavoring unnecessarily for one's own self. And then that's what we have we have read also in uh, this next of in instruction, like Atyahara Priya Sischa. So when we want more than what was required, is required, and then we do over endeavoring, and which causes, which, which as Rupa Goswami tells us, it destroys your bhakti, kind of a stuff, right? But here, in the case, like, you know, if you are doing it for temple, you are endeavoring for the Lord. You know, we are doing the things uh, for the Lord. So, like, like Prabhupada, like, I mean, like, if you look at it, all the things that he is doing, I mean, he's going on a ship, on a cargo ship. You know, his cargo ship is not meant for people. <laughs> you know, it's a cargo ship. He's not going on a cruise liner. You know, I mean, like, if you, for people to travel is like, you know, cruise liner. It's like saying, traveling on a goods train rather than a passenger train. Like, you know, you're supposed to travel. So, he's, <laughs> he's traveling on a, on a, you know, on a, on a cargo ship kind of stuff. But devotees take those pains. That is like our surrender. Because, again, uh, like as Kapil Dev Muni says, like, you know, titikshavaha karuni kaha. So titikshava, tolerance, is the sign of a devotee. So when we put us also, we many times put, put ourselves in situations which are tough. You know, like, like when we're trying to do something 
trying to build something more let's say for vih or like you know uh, like we we were you were mentioning about the case uh, happening in the london uh, those temples it's very similar to like in some ways like lord hanuman <laughs> he's also putting himself in too much more of a trouble right he does he doesn't need to put himself he can be more at ease right so so being a devotee and doing something for the lord this is uh, purifying you know so when we do uh, when we do uh, such work such endeavor is purifying and i think so there's a verse of bhagavad gita it's no which says na काय न मनसा बुद्धिर केवल इंद्रिया भी योगी नाम कर्म कुरुवंती संगम तख्ता तो शुद्ध थे सो मेनी ऑफ द योगीज ऑफ द रिबरेटेड सोल्स दे डोंट रियली नीड टू वर्क बट दे स्टिल वर्क बिकॉज दैट वर्क इज प्यूरिफिकेटरी सो आई मीन यू आर डूइंग दिस थिंग फॉर टेम्पल दिस इज लाइक नो सेल्फ इंड्यूस्ड स्ट्रेस इन सम वेज बट इट इज लाइक अ प्योरिफिकेटरी स्ट्रेस लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड मसल्स लाइक यू नो लेट्स ए समबडी वॉन्ट्स लाइक यू नो आई वॉन्ट बी इवन मोर हेल्दी आई नीड टू हैव you need to lift weights right it's not like i say okay now i should be more healthy so i will only sleep and not like you know use my body too much because you know then i preserve my body so my body will become more stronger no it's the opposite right you need to pick up lifts so when we do such kind of a service it is purificatory and then that purification helps us like you know so that's my limited understanding mataji <laughs> हरी बोल हरे कृष्णा <laughs> yeah 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 you know no, absolutely you know app I, i mean you say such my friend you says such a beautiful way uh, prabhu ji that you uh, you said uh, and i remember you know again whatever i've learned i've learned from vih so you know we had like urmila mata ji's class like and she made us do an assignment an exercise you know she those of us who have attended urmila mata ji's class it's very interactive you know <laughs> you have to do some assignment some some exercise you have to do real time in the class and she said write down so you know she says like humility and all all that stuff great but you write down what are your geniuses whatever you know what are your great like gifts that the lord has given you so everybody we have to write down three gifts kind of person and then you have to say am i using those two or three gifts whatever you know is your top your top talent your top genius that krishna lord has uh, given you are we using that in the service of krishna and if we so one thing like in bhagavad gita to note as since you are talking about self appraisal and self diagnostic so Bhagavad Gita, as we all know, really starts from chapter two. Uh, from it really starts from verse two point seven. Before that, there are a lot of things happening in the Bhagavad Gita, right? You know, the uh, that side, those people are standing, somebody is blowing conch, and many things are, is happening. But and when Arjuna self diagnoses his problem, what is his diagnosis? He says, "Karpanya dosho bhata sabava pricha mitam dharma samurd cheta." कार्पण्य मीन्स मैसर 
gosh, I mean, nobody's asking him for his money or something like that. You know, why is he talking that his problem is my son? He could have said, I have a mental health issues of <laughs> Krishna or like, you know, there's stress, there's mental health issues or something like that. And Krishna would say, all right, let me give you psychological counseling and here's the Gita, right? But he starts about Karpanya Dosha, miserly, because he's thinking of me, myself kind of a stuff. So for us, also if we have something, like you said, everybody is a genius Prabhu or a genius Mataji. Yeah? So that genius that Krishna has given us, if we don't share or use in, what are we? Karpanya. We are misers because I want to keep that for myself. That's what a miser is, right? The basic point about miser is, this is my thing. Though we always use it in the concept of money, but miser is somebody who has something and he doesn't want to give. You know, that is what is a miser, kind of, you know, in a broad conceptual of a miser. Now, similarly, we are, if we have, Krishna has blessed us with, you know, this, this genius and like Krishna tells in all his like, you know, vibhutis and all those things that we have. Uh, um, uh, like Krishna says, one verse which I really like a lot many times, it says, Dyutam chalyatayam masmi tejas tejas vinamaham jayasmi vyavasayasmi sattvam sattvatatam maham Yeah, so of course, first he starts with the thing, Dyutam chalyatayam masmi, like I'm the gambling of the cheat, Dyutam chalyatayam masmi tejas tejas vinamaham Those who are very tejasvi, like you know, like charismatic, you know, tejas tejas vinamaham jayasmi, victory, vyavasaya, vyavasaya means Entrepreneurship. We say, what are you doing in business? So, entrepreneur. So, I am the enterprise. So, Krishna says, you know, Prabhupada writes that he's, I am the enterprise, you know. Uh, so, jayasmi vivasayasmi sattvam sattvatate aham, you know, of the righteous and the, the righteousness. So, I mean, everything is coming from the Lord. So, if we don't offer that in the Lord's service, then we are karpanya. So, let's not be karpanya. Let's not be a miser <laughs> and freely offer whatever we have. And that is false humility, you know, to say, oh, I have something. I have, you know, you can cook food nicely, but I don't want to cook in the temple. <laughs> you, know, you should cook. Uh, it's not that, oh, I don't want to glorify myself. by you know, people will say, oh, such nice prasadam or something like that. No, you should do whatever you have. have Krishna has given, we should utilize in Krishna's service. Hari Yeah, Prabhuji question. Prabhuji, thank you. Wonderful class. Thank you. Wonderful summarization of um, the importance of uh, surrendering and uh, how much it's emphasized in all of our scriptures. Um, <clears throat> but what's always struggling is yes, we say, you know, surrender to Krishna, surrender, be dependent on Him completely. But the how to is always uh, much more fuzzier. How do we actually surrender? And then what is it that holds you know, us back from yeah. fully surrendering? You know, maybe you can share some of your just oh, realization you secrets on what how you know what makes you able to surrender. Yeah. So again, I will because you know, I, I know you know way more, you know, you're you're Shastric than me. You do all the assignments of Bhakti Vaibhava and Bhakti Vaidanta, Bhakti Shastri, and I don't do, so I know, like, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, way more. Uh, practically, like, you know, uh, well, like, this is like, you know, I, I found out in my life, you know, it's, it's just that you, you be nice to devotees, like, you know, and especially, there's so many, so the good thing in ISKCON is that we've got, you know, for all, we may criticize ISKCON, oh, this thing is there, that's problem, this is there, that issue is there in ISKCON. But you have wonderful devotees, superb devotees. There are so many of our devotees are like, you know, like like really, really wonderful. You know, we, we all have had experience, especially we are here, you know, kind of a stuff in a place like, you know, VIG and all this stuff. So... The pra like the only thing is okay. You figure out all right. You know, especially how can I serve the other devotee? How I can serve? And especially like you know, there are some really very advanced devotees. So like like in anything in life, right? Like I mean, like like I know you, your field, like let's say in you know, computer science. If you want to learn 
some of the best concepts are, you know, my field of finance. If I want to know what's the latest trends happening in the industry, the way to do it, I try to hang around with real smart people. I know that guy is really smart in that thing. So I hang around with that person and the, rather than reading about it, that person tells me the essence very quickly. Like, you know, this is happening in your industry, like in your thing, you know. What's happening latest in supply chain and all that stuff. If you ask some who's, who's really good, you know, you get it. And similarly, in devotional service, of course, you know, they, we are not necessarily just talking about looking for the smartest, but we are looking for the, the devotees. We can know, like, oh, this devotee is very good, very advanced. And of course, we, while we should treat everyone very nicely, and especially, like, you know, do service. And uh, uh, like my personal example, if I have to give something a little bit about myself, like my own, and again, I'm, I'm talking very commonsensically, you know, I'm not going about Shastra and all that stuff. Uh, anything like, uh, like I was telling, like, you know, with the class, I was telling to Prashanta Mataji, I, I, I was very convinced uh, I would never take initiation. Like, you know, I was, I was, as a person, I was very, very convinced I would never initiate or something. Totally happened because of the grace, mercy, and, you know, guidance of some other devotees. So I think our surrender, like, like Krishna consciousness is, unlike the normal, the yoga practice the yogis do, they do it in isolation, right? We do together, like, even Sankirtan is like, you know, congregational chanting, not alone chanting. So what I have found, like, again, my simple, like, you know, is just very nice devotees you keep associating. Basically, you serve. You serve them. See, whatever, like, you know, it's like anything. It could be personal service. It could be any kind of a service. You know, just like, you know, like, just like, I just say, like, you know, oh, this is a nice devotee. Let me, how can I serve? And when you serve the devotee, they automatically, like, you know, they tell you, they take you to the next level. <laughs> you know, somebody, you aren't there, but you want a deeper surrender. But I see that person, oh, this devotee is so nice. How deeply surrendered that person is. So you associate with him just like we will do in our normal you know, business life, you would say, I associate with somebody who's great in computer science or I'll try to associate somebody who's great in finance and learn more from that person. Similarly here, like, you know, and that is what I have personally, like, you know, if I have to say, uh, that I think it helps a lot, like, you know, what other devotees can help you. So that to me would be the practicality of surrender. And then the devotee inspire you, you know, when you come, like when you see, sometimes you think, oh, looks like I'm making a lot of progress in Krishna consciousness. <laughs> I'm like now able to do this, this, this. But then when you look, oh, my goodness, this devotee is so much more humble than me. This devotee does so much more service than me. I can't be like, you know, so, so, so I, this is what I have felt that this helps. I mean, it, it has helped, like, you know, uh, yeah, so that would my, my point really. Is it the whole attitude on, you know, what holds us back and what holds you know, people back? Uh, yeah, so what holds us back? That's a, again, uh, uh, so I think what holds, again, I'm not going Shastri, but normal, commonsensical. Uh, so one thing is, like, like, I like, you know, something, so like, Enthusiasm, lack of enthusiasm, sometimes, like, you know, kind of a stuff. And then we are also to self-centric, like I've found people, like, you know, where you, either you feel like, you know, oh, more embarrassed or you've got your ego or, you know, things like that in between. So... Um, yeah, sure. Like you know, that's, that's like how we talk in a in a shastric way. Yes, you are right in the, sh the shastric sense. But I'm just trying to think like from a because I know I'm sure Nilamani Prabhu is asking this question. He already knows all those things. <laughs> so I'm trying to <laughs> say something which is you know novel, simple, and commonsensical. Like uh, 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 maybe at some point is uh, which, I, which I feel is like. Like, like I cite the class where sometimes when you hear something too often, <laughs> you know, you just say, ah, yeah, at this point I already know. 
kind of a stuff right like for instance mata ji is also saying you know, enjoy independent of krishna yeah that point we have heard so many times yeah because we have heard it so many times we take so so maybe what we should we should go back and say the basic instructions of krishna consciousness like the things i have heard 100 times or 200 times and just ask yourself like a just a deep question you know okay so is like enjoy independent of krishna okay so is that what it is because you know otherwise we just say i yeah, independent because we know it so we we almost think of it intellectually you know we we, we think of that answer sometimes intellectually but the key point is it is not about uh, the intellectualism but how deep that thing has uh, sunk into us so yeah so that's what like probably i would do. <laughs> i think from thank you bro thank you bro thank you thanks thank you Hare Krishna.
from the Jewish Global Studios. Mm -hmm. It really is exciting. And so I, I went to sit somewhere, and I came back after a short while with all the letters ready, and they put the letters in, and my signed the letters and all that. And then after some time, he came with the suitcase and the servant, and everything he was leaving. And, um, and <coughs> they showed him, they were like, and <laughs> showing me something. <laughs> I was asking, who did it? He goes, me. So when he passed by me, he said, see you after three months. <laughs> and surely enough, after three months, he came back and I was cold and, and that was the end of it. <laughs> I typed it all day long. <laughs> You know, but um, yeah, I didn't want to do that. And um, so sometimes we have some, like this hang-up, we don't want to do something. But for me, this surrender, to getting over this thing and surrendering at this point, it was like, you know, it gave me eight years of association with my spiritual master, really? a personal service that I, I could <coughs> type away in the whole world. You know, and, and uh, I learned so much. I learned so much, in, not in terms of typing, but in terms of looking at the person, and observing the person, and, and seeing the qualities, and seeing how the person functions, you know, because it was uh, quite amazing. You know, so we surrender means um, to understand what Krishna wants. That's why in the Gita and the Bhagavad Gita, a lot about himself so that we understand him we have to know him we have to understand the person that, that we serve and we have to understand their mood their vision their this their that and put ourselves in the service of that you know that's that's what it is you know? and i remember another time that was really a hard, not very good experience another time it was uh, i was on padayatra and i was for me padayatra was most thing I could do. It was fantastic. Just walking, chanting, japa, doing kirtan, distributing books, preaching, <coughs> doing harinam, leaving various issues, can't be attached, just you can't have any luggage. So it was, I found it like fantastic. Then my Guru Maharaj came one time on the Father and trying to call me. He said, Iskand Devi needs a secretary. Now I'm like, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking all around. Why did you say this? I was literally <coughs> thinking, why is he telling me this? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I said, do you want to, you would like to do that? And I thought that, that I told him I have somebody. <laughs> So I didn't go, I refused. I said, no, 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 I'm happy on Padayatra. I'm really happy here. You know. Then after a few months, Maharaj comes back. He goes like that. We just opened a national communications office. It was the first thing. We just opened a national communications office in Delhi. There's an office and all, and there's a communication director. You need your secretary. <laughs> I know that guy, no way. No, <laughs> 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 no. And again, I was like, what is it? Uh, no, no, no way, no way, no way. So again, I said, no, no, man, I'm really not interested. I'm really happy on that. I'm <laughs> not interested. Then after a few months again, <coughs> I am opening an office in Delhi. <laughs> no. And I need a secretary. And I'm like, oh God, who signed? And then I remember, I was like, oh, so confused. Then I went and I had my diary, and I wrote, whose disciple are you? <laughs> 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 what, what do you mean that you are taking this, and that you 
know, do it, tell you three times, <laughs> do something, and you still don't do it. So I wrote it, whose disciple are you, you know? And then I, I understood that, you know, if I am really his disciple, at some point I have to agree to do what, what, what he wants, you know? I have to agree. So, so it took me some time, and then I said, okay, fine. And I remember, I told him yes after several months. So I said to him, the thing was leaving Barrietta for me was a disaster. For my, I was, I loved that place, you know. And I remember I went to the bull shed in um, in Mayapur. Barrietta, we had reached Mayapur from Calcutta by walk, and I went to the shed and there were all the bulls, and I cried for two hours. That I would never be with the bulls again, I would never be with Parietta again, never be happy again. I just cried for two hours and then <sighs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> then I went. And it was amazing actually, the empowerment that came from that surrender was very amazing. Very, very amazing. So to surrender, like Arjun, he didn't want to fight. He didn't want to kill, he didn't want to fight. It, it, it didn't feel good about it at all. You know? So sometimes it's the services we are asked to do. We, we don't always like them. You know? But we have to always see that we are Krishna's hands. And so sometimes, you know, we do things, okay, who can do it? Hmm, it's this one, okay. He has the good eyes. So, you know, it's going, he wants something done through us. And we stand in the way because I don't like it, you know. But, so this is, but it's very difficult, I must say. It's very, very difficult um, sometimes to do things we don't really like doing. But um, amazing, actually, uh, like everything. Uh, for me, I think I'm a permanently unsurrendered person. The first time they put me on book distribution, I went, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Personally, he took me, he coached me, <coughs> and he showed me how to do it. And then he said, now you do it, and went away to distribute somewhere. He said, I'm going to go higher. It was a, a big street with lots of crowd walking. He said, I'm going that way. So they will see me first. They see the book. They see me. They won't take from me. They'll see you second. Second sight, they, they, you'll have more chances. I was like trying to stop the people. <laughs> and I couldn't stop them. And, and I sold one book and one tape. After that, I hid. It was an arcade. <laughs> I hid behind the pillar. <laughs> and I waited for the time to pass. <laughs> and then the TV came back. And he said, so what? Did you sell the book? And I was like, uh, you know, one, one book, one cassette, and he was like jumping, wow, you sold your first, you know, he was very encouraging. So, you don't know, I do, for me, my life has been very difficult, I didn't, I, I had to do many things that I didn't want to, that I didn't feel like, you know, like they told me, okay, today you're cooking, and it's like, you know, they used to, they didn't have a cook. They used to have a roaster. <coughs> and then one day they came to me and they were like, so can you cook tomorrow? I said, I have the wrong recipe. I have to cook tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I didn't know cooking. <laughs> so anyway, I cooked Sunday. And I was cleaning the kitchen, I remember after that. I was cleaning, I didn't know for it. I was cleaning the kitchen and all. And suddenly one proper disciple, he came, he comes to the kitchen with his plate practically in the door. And he was like, do you know who's cooking tomorrow? I said, no, I don't know. Is there an issue? <laughs> <laughs> and after that, I was a cook like a fool. <laughs> so, you know, but then, every service that we accept brings, first of all, it's our connection with Krishna. 
HR connections and the process of visa set service. And everything <coughs> that is, yeah, allows us to connect. And every service is interconnected, it's tremendous. <coughs> I suppose the first of that does it on purpose, you know, that to make us do something that we don't want to do or we don't like. And then we have, you know, yeah. So I think uh, surrender means uh, some kind of Hari, Hari. Thank you so much. I give these little examples because sometimes really we, we are reluctant you know, to surrender in, in so many ways. We are reluctant to surrender. But when we do surrender, immediately it's like some energy starts flowing. You know? and, and you can know it. You can feel it. You become neutral. It's always interesting. All right. Thank you so much, Yankee Shokabu. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you again for our Bhakti Vada students uh, online to spend this week with us. We're very, very happy to have you. And uh, we'll uh, see more of you in the future, maybe. Huh? <laughs> 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 we'll become person in the Bhakti Vada. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <